Hi and welcome to another technology video. So today we're going to be looking at uh, packet capture on the PFSense firewall and how you can use it to investigate and analyse traffic either on box or um, more importantly how you can get the data from your PFSense box and into Wireshark for further analysis. So first thing that you want to do is we want to navigate to our diagnostics and go to packet capture um, and then what you want to do is you want to set which interface you want to capture the traffic from so whether you want to capture it on your external interface or your internal interface so what you want to do is uh, come into your packet capture settings and you want to select whether you want to capture the data on your WAN or your LAN interface what we're going to do today is we're going to capture it on our LAN interface because then we can um, remove all of, the, all of the noise. So if you're capturing on your WAN interface, you would either put the host address of your um, external website that you want to capture traffic to or from, or if you want to capture all traffic, you would put your WAN IP address in here and that would capture all um, external traffic that's coming into your device. <clears throat> so we're going to select WAN, uh, LAN. We're going to leave promiscuous mode um, uh, disabled. Uh, we're going to select all or any for our address family. So this is IPv4 or IPv6. We're only using IPv4 but it doesn't matter. You can leave it set to any. And then protocol we're going to set to any as well. And then we're going to set our um, LAN host address here to capture all of the data from it. So to find out your LAN address you want to open up a command prompt if you don't know it off the top of your head and you want to type in ipconfig which will then give you your um, IPv4 uh, IP address. So ours is uh, this one here so we just highlight it, copy and then we can paste it in. Um, we want to capture all ports, we're going to leave that blank. We want to capture the entire packet length, so we're going to leave that set to zero. And the count, um, this is important, so at the moment we're only going to capture the first 100 packets, so we want to set that to zero so we capture all packets. Uh, the level of detail, this doesn't apply if you're going to be using Wireshark to analyse your traffic, but it does affect the level of detail that is displayed once you stop your um, capture on the PFSense box. Um, if you want to do a, a reverse lookup, then you can do that with this option here, but we're not going to do that. So, without further ado, let's hit our start button to start capturing the traffic. I'm going to go and use a website so that we can um, navigate and pick up a 503 error. So, um, I'm going to the HTTP version. So, this is important. If you go to HTTPS, you will obviously capture the handshake and the um, versions of encryption, so the TLS version that you're using, but it's not going to give you a huge amount of um, uh, data because you're not going to be able to see inside the um, packets because it's going to be encrypted, obviously. So we're going to HTTP, httpstat.us, and we're going to hit it with a 503 error to see if we can pick that up in our packet capture. So the first thing we want to do is to click this 503 uh, that shows us that we've got a 503 service unavailable. Um, and then we want to go back and see if we can see that in our capture. So we're going to navigate back to our PFSense box and we're going to stop our capture from running. Um, to analyse traffic in Wireshark, you obviously need to have Wireshark installed, which we have. And here is our packet capture so it's everything to and from just our single host which um, filters out all of the rest of the noise on the network and we are going to download our capture file and we're going to click on it down here and that is going to open up open it up in Wireshark so we can have a look at it further okay so we've still got a little bit of noise in here so this is the noise from our um, PC that's talking to a variety of internet hosts. So what we want to do is we want to actually go in and have a look at our um, grab the IP address. So we're going to copy that and we're going to do a simple NS lookup on that uh, domain or on that host. 
find its IP address, so 2399.0.12, and then we're going to come back to our Wireshark, and we're going to have a look for that um, IP address in here, and then we're going to just capture that uh, stream from that one host. So once you're in your uh, TCP dump, you can search through the whole stream manually, having a look at traffic, what's going on. Uh, there's still quite a bit of noise in here, so if you're familiar with um, uh, TCP, then you'll be able to see. Basically, here we go. This is our. This is when our stream first starts, I believe. But if you wanted to uh, eliminate all of the noise and only see what you've got going on then if you're familiar with the Wireshark language you can write a filter uh, that will just bring out the data that you need so it will eliminate all of the noise um, for what you want so first thing that we want to do is we want to it's going to be a multi uh, statement so we're going to be uh, setting it as source and destination um, or source and destination based on um, local LAN and external WAN. So the way that I do it, it might not be correct, but in terms of writing the filter, I'm fairly familiar with this, so I'm just going to go ahead and say if the source is our local LAN and the destination is the remote server 0 0.12 uh, what that's going to give us is that's just going to give us um, when the source and the destination so in other words if the source is 192.168 and the destination is the remote server then display that so I can look at that and that's going to give me one-way traffic only but if I want to check um, two-way traffic, then I can say or if it's the IP source of 23.99.0.12 and the IP of the destination is 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.